Hello everybody, it's Chaos King 1236 and I'm here with a sort of emergency ban list that just came out uh, for the TCG starting next month in June. And it's only going to run until August, uh, according to Konami, probably to uh, coincide with the new ban list. Rather, the new rules, sorry. Anyway, first off we have Norden, which to be honest, I'm I'm really happy about. It, it's, it's been around a little too long, and it was never used the way it was meant to be. Actually, I, I can't say that because I don't know whether or not they intended it uh, to be the Instant Fusion dot card. But I definitely feel like it, it overstayed its welcome by quite a while. Uh, once the new rules hit, it's not going to be as big an issue. It, it's still a, a one card rank four if you've got a, a level four in the grave, but you can't combo extender, so to speak, unless you're running links as well. And links definitely slow the game down somewhat. Links can be pretty broken from what uh, videos I've seen, but yeah, they they still slow the game down somewhat for the other types of summons. Anyway, moving on. Uh, limited, we've got Speedroid Terror Top. Terror Top, uh, I, I feel like it didn't really need a hit, but it's probably the most logical option considering what's the point of banning MX Saber Invoker when it's not really the problem so much as E rank threes being really fucking easy to summon. Now, if they had banned it, I would be calling bullshit on them. But uh, limited, yeah, I can I can understand what their thought process was on that. Next up, that grass looks greener. Thank you. Though I have to admit, sixty card decks being a thing again is was great. That it's great that they they made that possible, but it only really worked for decks that love loading their graves like Infernoids, Light Swarms, etc. Any other, it did it encouraged larger than forty card decks, but it's also a really broken card for those archetypes. And personally, I really didn't like seeing. That being played against me. Though it wasn't like an instant win, but a lot of times it was the, the, uh, did result in a win. If you can pull that off. Of course, if you're playing a 60 card deck and you're facing a 60 card deck, that's another story. But yeah, I'm not sure why that's a temporary one, though it might once, uh, an official ban list comes out for the new rules era, it might get hit again permanently this time. I kind of hope it at least gets semi-limited, if not limited as it is right now on this temporary list. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm, I'm kind of glad it took a hit. The decks that, uh, are affected by this are, are, most of them are going to be just Fine in the new era. Well, Light Swarms will take a little bit of hit because they like to use like uh, Trick Clown and whatnot to be, get a bunch of uh, Ixies and a couple, a Synchro or two out. But overall, they're still doing, pr they'll do, I think they'll do pretty well. Especially with the, the new support in the Twilight Swarms. Anyway, uh, next we have the Unlimiteds. There are no semi-limits in this list. Uh, we have Performa Palace, Skull Corbat, Joker, Wisdom Eye Magician, and Pendulum Call, which are all, all, uh, Pendulum focused cards. Um, I'm not quite sure what their reasoning is behind this. I mean, Magicians aren't exactly top tier at the moment, and they were for a t a little bit, especially with Wis Wisdom Eye was a really good card. But against the current meta, I can I can sort of understand why they would uh, weaken the the hits to them. Pendulum Call three is kind of eh, but yeah, Wisdom Eye and uh, Skullcrowback 
especially Skull Crobat, uh, I think is fine because that's that's his his search effects only on normal summon. But yeah, Wisdom Eye, I I if I was making the shots, I would have made both Wisdom Eye and Pendulum Call semi limits because I think they're they're both at one at the moment. I think they're it'd be fine at two anyway. Uh, overall, my thoughts. Uh, I'm really happy about Norden and the grass looks greener. The rest, I'm not, I don't really care too much, but overall, I, I can completely understand, like, the reasonings behind each of these. Why they decided to make this, like, temporary list, however, I'm, I'm a little confused. I mean, it's obviously supposed to last until the new rules hit, which, which, yeah, it should be in August. Maybe s- September. I might have to. Du- I'll have to double check that as well. Anyway, overall, I think it's a good list. Uh, it hits several cards that were being abused, and unhits some cards that weren't seeing for some decks that weren't seeing as much play these days. Why they included those unhits when they're just going to be temporary, I'm not sure about. My best guess is, like, for that grass looks greener and uh, the three unlimits, I think they might get hit slash unhit uh, again once a new list comes out for the new uh, rules era. Uh, but other than that, I think that pretty much covers my thoughts on it. I also really like uh, the organization's uh, pick for the article. Almost as good as when uh, Yuga got kicked in the balls. Though the face Yuga made was... Anyway, this has been Chaos King 1236 uh, with the latest uh, TCG ban list coming in June to, through August. Thank you and have a nice day. Perform fellow scorpion bat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've spaced my fingers right on that. Who cares?